Good day, everybody. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to look at this under $100 dual 12 volt air compressor that may be an alternative for small tires up to like 31, 33 inch off road. I'm just testing this because currently I'm running an ARB compressor. It's only a single piston, but it runs all right. But the cost of that is pretty expensive, so I'm reviewing this one to see if it would be cost effective for people who don't want to spend big dollars. So I'm looking at air compressors around $100, under $100. That may be good for someone who doesn't have a big budget. So now that I unbox this, let's have a look at it and see if it's going to stand up. I can tell you something right now. That orange airline is kind of like a... Hard rubber plastic in the winter time that is going to harden right up. We got 12 volt accessory to cigarette plug. Got a bunch of accessories that for filling up like footballs and air mattresses. And what I like about the air nozzle right there is it'll actually will thread onto your valve stem. It's got a digital readout up top that you can set for whatever pressure you want. On off switch for the light and on off switch for the compressor itself. Plug in the compressor. Compressor's plugged in. Set for PSI. We're gonna go 35 pounds. So right now I'm using my quick air deflator. I'm going to deflate all four of my tires down to roughly 18 PSI. And then I'm going to record how long it takes to fill up a tire, how much current we're using, to help determine if this is going to be a good buy or not. Now the key is to time it. The automatic shutdown. Yes, it's really drawing six amps. It says it's supposed to be 25 amps. Oh, seems like we're only pulling six. Two minutes to get to 30. Since we're only drawing about seven amps. Oh. As soon as I killed the power. Yeah, keep running. A little bit more oomph. So now we're at 32.5, 238. Almost four minutes per tire. Guess I deflated that one down. Turn the power off, reset. So I'm just gonna let that cool for a few minutes and then I'm gonna hook it up directly to the battery. And then we're going to do another test and we're going to time it to pump up this front tire to see if there's any difference if we're using these terminals connected right to the battery or if we're using my high output 12 volt that I ran inside. Give or take, we're about 15. Start the clock. Oh, so we do get a few more amps by running directly off the battery. So it might even might even fill up a little faster.
On the plus side, the air compressor got warm after pumping up four tires, but not hot enough that you couldn't touch it. Now, for the meat and potatoes, was I impressed with this air compressor? No, it did fill up all four of my tires from roughly 18 PSI to 35. That being said, they're 31 by 10 and a half inch tire. Just over around 20 minutes it would take you. I'm going to keep looking for something that might be a little bit faster, but this did do the job. Hope you guys liked this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you in the next one.